Hello ladies and gentlemen, Joe Morgan with Geeks Under Grace here, and you're watching the Let's Play of The Last of Us. This is episode 9. Alright, so when we left off last time, we had just finished a giant uh, subway full of clickers. So who knows what we're going to be f left with this time. Uh, we are finally back above ground, and I don't know that that's going to mean we're any safer. Probably not, in fact. Uh, we were in a high-rise last time, and that didn't do us a lick of good. Oh, nope. So we see right there, we stop and use our spider vision. There are three more clickers in there. Well, they, they, they might not be clickers. They may just be infected. Regardless, we got to take them out. Now, the good thing with Joel is that if they're not clickers, he can just strangle them out. Okay, and the one on the right definitely is not a clicker. Okay, they're just they're just sick people. Strangle, 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 strangle. Going down, baby. You're going down. Drop down low. Drop it low, drop it low, drop it, drop it, drop it low. Uh-oh, something has pulled their t Wait, nope. Now for some reason the enemies aren't showing up on my vision. Why would they not be showing up on my vision now? Okay, so we got... Ellie and Tess out running around. Why are the enemies... That's weird. They're not showing up on my, uh... On my Spider-Man vision for some reason. Well, we know there are two in there. I don't understand. Something had to have glitched out there. I definitely meant to grab her, not beat the fire out of her. That's why! That's why! Oh my goodness. Now we're gonna have to deal with two of them, and they're not happy with me. I meant to grab that when I hit the wrong button. Man, well, that was a lot more damage than I had hoped to take Here we go. in that situation. What is this? Oh, I guess we needed to get in here and get this, uh, get this trash bin. I don't know what we're trying to get up over. Oh, I guess we're trying to get up over the uh, lobster truck there. I still don't understand the point of having a lobster truck in uh, Texas. I don't imagine there are a lot of lobster to deal with. Then again, Texas does have quite a coastline. Who knows? Maybe they are fishing for lobster down off the coast of Texas before everything hit the fan. Now let's stop creeping around a little bit, but I am going to turn on my flashlight so we can see a little bit easier. Got some tape, a little bit of, uh, some blades. There are a bunch of brochures. Hey, a fine-tuning uh, automobiles magazine. And let's see here. We're crafting it. Yeah. Okay. So we crafted it. We got an extra med kit, and I want to use it. <laughs> I thought square was how we use. Nope, square is not how we do it. Nope. Oh ducks. Oh, fantastic! I can't remember how to use my healing items. There we go. R two. Good grief, folks! That's what happens when you take a break between play sessions. Your, your brain just hits the fan. Climb on up. And here comes Tess. Where's Ellie? Ellie! Ellie! Uh, that's, that's quite a level of detail there. He's standing around waiting on Ellie to climb up. He's scratching his face, prepping everything. Alright, so I guess down we go. Come on, girl. There you go. And, okay, so Tess is running around, but Tess is an AI, and in a previous episode, we watched her run right by clickers. I mean, you're talking within Joe, six inches of clickers. We'll cut through this building. Yeah, that worked out great last time. <laughs> we'll cut through this building. Yeah, that was a good idea when it happened last time. Okay. Double time. 
They're coming. I know. Uh, a lot of angry people. Get in there, Joel. Get in there. Hey, how about you stop standing still and then get to the side? Oh. Boy, they're not too happy, are they? You got something on your shoe. Oh, whoa, whoa, something on your shoe. That was an arm. Wow. Okay. How do we get out of this place? Let's find out. Good grief. That's a little bit more than a little something on your shoe. So Marlene thinks you're immune? Well, that's what she believes. What do we got over here? There's actually a bench well, with a lamp. I mean, you must have been somewhere you shouldn't. To find oh, a workbench. Yeah. So he takes off his backpack, and we can actually There's upgrade our weapons here. That's nice. You sneak out, you know. Now I've got 96 uh, parts to upgrade. That place is completely off. Okay, I don't have anything to upgrade my holsters, but now I can actually legitimately upgrade some of the guns because they don't require some of the tools. Bit me. Um, that was that. Reload speed, fire rate. And clip capacity. Are you with Marlene? I think clip bitten? capacity yeah. is going to be a, an important one. I could be this. wrong. Knowing her, I'm surprised she didn't shoot you. We'll upgrade as much as we can here. Hope she's all right. I told you. That looks like about as much as we can upgrade on that one. Um, in fact, let's yeah. look around a little bit. We might actually yeah, find something good. handy dandy to help us uh, do some more upgrading here. What do we got in here? Some more pills. Now, the weird thing is, in this case, pills give you powers. Don't make that mistake in real life, kids. Okay. So the pistol that I'm running with, that's actually not the one that I should probably be using. That's the one that I upgraded. Ah, we might as well go ahead and try to upgrade the other one, too, while we're here, right? Okay, so we've got both of our pistols upgraded as much as we currently can. Uh, I don't have whatever the wire cutter is, and same goes for the pistol for the uh, the holsters. But apart from that, we've got our weapons upgraded, so I think we can go ahead and move on a little bit. We'll check. Hold triangle to equip. Okay. Go ahead and reload the weapon. And there was nothing in that desk drawer. It's not going to stop me from looking at all of them. Okay, come on, Joel. Tell me that there's something around here. And actually, having <laughs> having the uh... okay, Whew. got a can of something in there. Give me just a second, folks. We are actually, at, at the time that I'm recording this, we are running our 72-hour live stream special. I was doing a little bit of live streaming earlier this morning, and I'm going to be doing some more this evening. And at the time that this episode goes live, we will still be in the midst of it. Um, but that being said, I had uh, alerts for new followers turned on, so that's what you heard there a moment ago. I apologize for that. If you're not watching this in the middle of the 72-hour live stream, you should head on over to the Geeks Under Grace Twitch channel and give us a follow there as well. Maybe even consider donating. Hmm. Ah, shit. Language girl. I feel like I need uh Oh, look, some stuff to pick up. Awesome, awesome. I feel like I need a picture of Captain America with a meme on it. It's like, language, watch your language. All right, so we're going up. Stand up, Joel. Okay, we're up on the second floor now. And currently nothing within his earshot. That doesn't mean there aren't enemies here, but there's nothing that I can see. Wow. 
Okay, it looks like we're in some sort of old museum. Some old firearms, maybe not firearms, but uh, some old artwork, a few model ships and things like that. Like it was a nautical museum thing. All right, watch your head. All right, go, go, go. That is a big old piece of wood right there. Whoa! All right, now I'm, I'm now separated I'm from him. I'll, I'll make my way around. Look here! Yes, run. Run. That was definitely a clicker. Uh oh. Wait a minute. So, am I totally locked in here now? Okay, so we got a way out. I can't tell if that's a clicker or if that's just an infected. Oh, that is definitely a clicker. Okay, let's see if I can manufacture some shivs real quick. Good, we can make a couple of shivs. That could get us out of a real sticky situation. Oh, man. And the way they walk is just horrifying. Okay, there's one down we've got. Oh, man, at least two more. And I've only got enough materials left for the one shiv. We may need to try to avoid the second shiv, or the the the, uh, the second clicker altogether, if we can. And something I keep forgetting, I need to slow down the pace that I'm walking at because these creatures can actually hear steps, even when you're creeping around like I am. Let's see if I can kind of creep nice and slow. We'll pick up two by four. I don't know if it's going to help or not. We're F we're, we are definitely outmanned in this sort of situation. I don't even know that we can hit the clickers with a two by four. Turn around, walk back. Okay, this has me fairly nervous. Uh-oh. Come on, come on. No! Thought we'd be able to get by. That was not... Not to be... Okay. So we're back with three clickers again. Now one good thing about the clickers, I think here, is that they can't sense light. They are sure coming straight at me, aren't they? Oh my goodness. Shoot! I don't think I can run up here. Can they still get in here with me? If they can, I'm definitely out of luck. Now, they are all... <laughs> they're all right here. Maybe I can take them down. So, this looks like it was not intended to be the way to take these critters down. But I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna deny it. Uh-oh. Okay, go ahead and reload here, Joel. I will knock the mushrooms off your head, son. Okay. Well, that definitely wasn't the way I expected to take care of that. Bullets are very precious in this game. But... Bullets are worth expending to keep myself alive because you won't even live if uh, <laughs> if one of those clickers gets up close to you. It would be bad news all over the place. Now 
where did my friends end up here? Where where are Tess and Ellie? I don't know, maybe we can go on up another level. Uh oh. There's another one. So we're currently only seeing one. I'm assuming that's where Tess and uh Wait a minute, can I throw a brick at him? Maybe I don't need to. He's not a he's not a quick. Can have a two by four. Hmm. Wait, what do we got going on? It still sounds like somebody's Oh! Tess with a two by four gun. Oh ho ho! Well, that's one way to put him down. Guys, get in here! The girl! Shit. Uh-oh. Asshole up! Got a room full of infected guys. They were attacking the girl. We gotta take them out. I guess kicking the head is one way to do it. Now these guys are looking rough. Oh, hey, whoa, hey. Oh, I got hit with something. Okay, Tess is in there. Right, let's see if you get out of the way, Ellie. You gotta take care of business here, dear. Oh man. Okay, we got our glass bottle. In fact, I would rather have the brick. I'd, I'm much more comfortable with a brick than a glass bottle. And while we're here, hey, we might as well go ahead and uh, recover a little bit, right? We've been through some crap in this museum. Hey, this is like the museum of of uh, death or something. This is like a this is the most dangerous museum on earth. Tess, how are you holding up? Just a bit winded. Look this way. This will get us to the roof. How about you, kid? You okay? It's a fine okay. Are you still breathing? Do small panicked breaths count? Yeah, they count. Right. And I'm okay. Ellie's character has uh, quite an interesting bit of uh, dialogue. <laughs> Not afraid to say whatever. <sighs> Alright, folks. That is going to wrap us up for today. That's today's episode. Come back to uh, every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday for another episode of The Last of Us until we wrap up this horrifying tale of uh, a journey across the country to save a little girl's life. God bless. Go forth and game. Peace.